Joseph Aloba, the father of the late singer Ileri Olua Aloba, popularly known as Mobad, said paternity test is a non-negotiable requirement to determine his grandson true lineage. According to Joseph Aloba, the father of Mobad, he said he is willing to provide consent for the DNA test and is open to designate a representative of the family if he cannot present himself during the procedure. He emphasized the importance of transparency in the process, insisting that the DNA test should be conducted at two distinctive locations to eliminate any doubt regarding the result. Mr. Loba said, concerning the DNA test, it is a must they do it. Nigeria are demanding for it. I heard rumor that they did it, but no matter what, I'm Mobad's father, so I will give consent to the DNA test or send anyone who can represent me during the test if I'm not there to know how they will do it. And even when they want to do it, it should be done in two different places so that we can be wary and very sure of the truth. Also, where I am from in Ikere Ekiti, we don't accept bastard, but it will be a thing of joy for me if this child is more bad because this is the only child he left behind. Three days before his death on Saturday, I was with him. He even served me food and he put the child on my hand and he was very happy and taking pictures. So I'd be very happy if the child is mobile son because I love the child. But if it turns out that the child is not his son, it won't be good if we don't find out now because of the future. So that even late Mobad shouldn't be blaming me that I accepted something like this. So the DNA is very necessary. This is coming from Mobad's dad, Mr. Joseph Aloba, insisting that the DNA will be conducted on the son left behind by Mobad. It has been rumored that the son might probably not belong to Mobad, as a lot of people are insinuating that Mobad's wife has a lot of men in, in her life, and some people are even linking the son to one of the prime suspects in Mobad's death, that is Sam Larry. Why a lot of people are insinuating that Mobad's wife has been sleeping around in Naramali's carcass. So, as the event unfolds, we keep you posted on how the DNA test result goes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Until I come your way some other time, God bless you.